Hello, and welcome to, um, well, Carlin's Worlds. Yeah, that should work. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, sometimes a nomad, a military veteran. I do things differently. There will be tinkering. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. I live off-grid, so there will be some solar, batteries, inverters, and maybe even some wind. It blows. And that's all I can fit into about 30 seconds. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Cool. On with the show already. I like this part because it's the last time I got to mess with this stupid tarp. So that makes me happy. Tie it down, not gonna bother. I thought it was going to be, but the worst is behind us. <sighs> oh, I was halfway up and I'm like, I don't know. Oh, it'll be fun. Let's go see. Okay, good news is I got daylight. Bad news is I'm running out of drills, so let's get a bigger drill. Fire in a hole. Just like that. Cool. Sometime later, like, you know, never, I'll come back and cock that probably. goes there. <laughs>
Yeah, I was totally prepared to have to rig this up with a bunch of short pieces all spliced together, and I really don't have to, so that's good. That's awesome. Now, huh, these are all about the same length. That's crazy. Out of all the random things that I've got chopped and whacked together, three pieces within, what, six inches of each other. Cheap shit off eBay, I guess. Okay, right, from that I can reach it. <laughs> that almost looks like it's supposed to be like that. I think for now I'm going to run the drain out through the window and the exhaust for the dryer out the window. Might as well get these when, when I can get to them. These had new washers on them. Old hoses with new washers, so. Oh man, just thinking about that little. Hmm. That's better. Now. thing and the foot dropped down, it's pretty close. Oh, that's good. I wonder if video videotaping going up ramps gives me a higher likelihood of a problem. Okay, so all I have to do, I'll put the generator over here now. I've got lots of cord. The orange cord is for the dryer. This one here is the discharge from the washer, and I can just get that, it'll hook over the window here. That'll be okay. And when I'm running the washer, I'll run that cord out the window also. So that's that'll be set. Irony is that's about where the shower used to be, and I used to have a, uh, a spot for the generator. And then I leveled that area, thinking I was gonna build the shed there. See, that's kind of the problem. The the good thing and the bad thing about being lazy, I guess. Every time I put off a project like that, I eventually decide not to do it. So I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it does save me a lot of time. <laughs> Although I spend uh, weeks sometimes making plans for some fabulous project that never happens. Okay, this could be kind of the same as the other one, except 
first laundry from inside the bus and this is running from the water system through the manifold off of the IBC tank so yay for that and as an added sideline bonus you know, I've got a little extra sprayer doesn't do any good because it comes off the same source you can see it slows that one down but it's there okay when I started the water level was above this pipe here all right I don't have a specific mark but it was definitely a little bit above that so now we're a little bit below that so I'm gonna just kind of keep an idea how much water do I use on a load of laundry all right you know say zero one two we are at three okay and I've only got one load today let's see so right yeah the water oh also I'm gonna let that come down a little bit and I've got 200 gallons in the truck so I want to wait until the water in the tank goes down so that I can get most of that in from the truck into the tank You know, compared to the generator, that is not too noisy. I mean, it's in a metal container in here. I mean, I don't have any sound dampening at all. It's all metal except for the floor, which is a little bit, a little bit of rubber over metal. Yeah, I barely hear that compared to the generator. That's totally okay. This is hilarious. The whole freaking bus is gonna bounce. <laughs> That's just part of the fun. Maybe it won't be too bad though. Just keep an eye on it. Once a week, not a big deal. <laughs> okay, so that's basically it. I used about six inches of water to do that one load, and that was on the biggest cycle. Okay, so from the bottom, one, two, so one, two, Water's about there, so right around two and a half. I measured it earlier with a um, tape measure. Uh, it's between five and six inches because I didn't mark exactly how high it was. I just knew I was above that pipe. So let's say I used six inches, all right? And I haven't put the water in that's in the truck yet because I forget what I paid for the big generator, but I've got a 9,000 watt generator and a 4,000 watt. Don't mind the mess. But if I can run the dryer off of the 4,000 watt generator, that means that that expensive generator is just going to sit there for most of the time. Uh, I don't really, really need it for anything right now. Air fluff. Okay, we'll do air fluff, no heat. I'm going to turn off the heat to see if it starts. Blow all the spiders out of there. Okay, it's running. Okay, so we know air will work. A little in here, okay. Yep, definitely turning. Now, I just put uh, t shirts and underwear and socks. I didn't put the jeans in. I'm going to hang those out upside, outside and let them um, dry for free. So, the next step, I'm going to go over here to normal, delicate, low heat. And see what happens. Nope, not enough. Okay, now we know. The heating element pulls more power because it's it's made to run on 30 amps, and I can only put a well, it's a 20 amp connector, and I don't know if I can even do a full 20 amps. Okay, air fluff will work. So what I could do is line dry all my clothes and then throw them in here to fluff them. A couple dryer sheets and that'd be good. Okay, that's that was the question. I didn't know for sure if it would work and it didn't. Now we know. It's kind of at the point now, at the cost of gas, just running the air fluff 
It would take it a long freaking time to dry. I might as well put the big generator on, run the heat, and be done with it, right? So that's kind of where we're at. But a failed experiment is still a success because now you know something doesn't work. Cool. Random and uh, probably unimportant data point. It's about 9.05 a.m. The dryer was so quiet, I didn't think it was running. Yeah, like that. But it was still blowing air out the vent, so I'm like, all right, so I actually pushed the button again and it didn't change, so I'm like, that's weird. So I put my hand over the vent, oh, hot air is coming out. That's cool, you know. Uh, yeah, it's hot in here, obviously, because it's hot outside. But, uh, I don't think I'm getting a lot of heat from the dryer in here. And it's only going to be for an hour or whatever, right? Not a big deal. So that's, that's fine. So I've got uh, water pump shut off. I use six inches of water off of the tank. I haven't filled the tank yet. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, that should work. Cool. I do things differently. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Thank you so much for watching.